Step number four, create a Facebook ad campaign. In this video, I'm going to step you through the process of running an actual Facebook ad campaign. In the previous video, we concentrated on identifying your audience members. Please keep in mind that getting a clear idea of who your audience members are is not a one-time thing. It's something that you're going to have to constantly fine tune and polish as your results come in. Don't think that just because you used audience insights and you have slightly over 1000 page fans that your targeting can remain unchanged. As you can imagine, the more popular your page gets, the higher the chance its audience profile may change. It may attract other people and these individuals might actually be a better audience for your ads. In this video, I'm going to step you through the process of using Facebook ad manager to set up an actual ad campaign. First, you need to get on Facebook ad manager, click on the campaigns tab and then click on create. This will get you going on launching a new Facebook advertising campaign. The first thing you will notice is that you actually have 11 different campaign objectives to choose from. Here are the options and quick descriptions of them. Store visits. Select this if you want to get physical visitors to your local physical store. Catalog sales. Run Facebook ads to connect directly to your online catalog. So if they like something, they can buy it from your store. Conversions. This is a fairly broad objective type that indicates the ad clicker doing a specific action. This can mean entering an email into a form to join a mailing list or buying the product you're selling. Messages. For this objective, you get people to connect with your business using your page's Facebook Messenger. You can automate your Facebook Messenger so that when people reach out to you, your Messenger can send them promotional info. Depending on how they respond to the promotional info, Facebook Messenger can then send a follow-up. Lead generation. These ads try to get people to sign up for your mailing list, which then plugs them into a sales funnel. Once people get on your mailing list, you basically start sending them information to eventually try to get them to convert. Video views. People click on your ads and they see a video. The goal is to get as many people to view your video content as possible. App installation. When people click on the ad, they're given the opportunity to download and install your app. Engagement. This is an objective that basically just shows your content to a very wide audience so people can engage with your content like liking the posts, liking your page, or seeing a promotional offer and taking action on it. Traffic. This ad campaign seeks to drive clicks to your target website. Reach. This is purely an ad for exposure. The key is to get as many eyeballs as possible within your target audience. Brand awareness. If you're launching a new brand, this aims to just show your ad to a lot of people who may not be in your existing range of audiences. Or maybe you have an existing audience, but you have a new product or a new brand. Your brand is venturing into the same market as your existing audience. Or it could be the other way around. Pick the campaign objective that most tightly fits the outcome you're looking for, for the particular ad you will be using. Please understand that it's not always a tight fit. If you're trying to use video to get people to engage with your brand, your best bet would probably be to select video view instead of brand awareness. Once you have selected the objective, go to near the bottom of the page and select if you want to do an AB split test. AB split test is very important because you can run two ads at once and Facebook will alternate exposures for those two ads. Obviously, you're looking to see which of the ad gets the most clicks or most results. This is a great way of testing different ad designs. Also, you can select budget optimization. Using these two features, you can run different ad sets and see which of your ads perform best on Facebook using your target audience parameters. The great thing about this is you don't spend a lot of money. It has a budget optimization feature. You then look at the final numbers and then pour the bulk of your budget on the ad that actually works the best. Of course, that ad has to meet your minimum ROI or return on investment objective. If you have selected the engagement objective, you can choose whether to focus on event responses, page likes, or post engagement. Generally, people who use engagement are looking for page engagements so their page fans can increase and the number of people who may possibly see their updates in the future grows. If you haven't set up an ad account by this point, you can click the set up ad account and enter your payment information so Facebook can start showing the ad. Select ad placement. Ad placements indicate where Facebook will show your ad. Generally, this is played out between desktop and mobile. The ad placements will feature the right column of the desktop newsfeed itself or the mobile newsfeed. If you select mobile, your Facebook ads can also show the Instagram platform. When people use the Instagram app, your ad can appear. Also, Facebook runs an advertising network called the Audience Network. These are mobile apps and websites that run Facebook's ads. 
You can also select for your ads to show on this extended network. Next, set up your budget and schedule. Once you've done the targeting and you have set up your ad, the next step is to select the budget. This will give you an average of how much money you'll be spending per day. You can also choose to keep it running indefinitely or end it at a specific date. I suggest that if you just started your Facebook ad marketing, you use the default settings offered by Facebook. Facebook will then run your ad continuously. I recommend this so you can monitor your ad and optimize in real time. You can always stop or pause the campaign and run another campaign. If you want to maximize your control over the process, you can set up beginning and end dates for your Facebook ad campaign. Pay for your campaign. There are different ways to pay for your campaign. You can pay by PayPal or credit card. Please keep in mind that you will be paying for ad performance based on the type of campaign you're running. You can run a cost per click or CTC campaign. In this situation, you will only get charged by Facebook if people click on your ad. Exposure campaigns. Alternatively, you can run a CPM campaign. Facebook will charge you a certain amount of money for every thousand times your ad shows up. Please understand that impression campaigns can show the same ad to the same person more than once. It is not unusual for one person to keep seeing the same ad over and over. Keep in mind that depending on the time frame involved, that person might be getting counted more than once. So although you're paying for a thousand impressions, this doesn't mean that a thousand different people have seen your ads. It may well turn out to be a very small group of people who are repeatedly exposed to your ad. You can always change Facebook's recommended price per 1,000 impressions. Please understand that this is your bid, and if you're bidding too low of a price, Facebook can stop displaying your ads because other advertisers are paying a higher price for the same spot. When do you get billed? Even though you selected a continuous payment system, Facebook will charge you depending on your selection. You can set up a threshold. Once your billable charges reach a certain threshold, then the charge will be reflected on your credit card or your PayPal account. If not, Facebook will just charge you at the end of the month. So whatever amount of bills you've racked up, Facebook will charge against your card on file or against your PayPal account. Check Advanced Budget Settings. Once you're familiar with Facebook, you can also try the Advanced Budget Settings to customize bidding and optimize your budget. Once you're satisfied with all the settings above, choose Add Creative. This will start the process where you actually create your ad.